Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about the Udemy affiliate program plus a few different ways to make money. So basically what we're going to cover today is what Udemy is, uh, the commission structure, some different ways to promote it, and how much money you could potentially make. So if you are interested in this affiliate program or any other affiliate program, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a brand new video. First things first, what is Udemy? Udemy is an online learning platform. It's where people of all different skill sets can create courses and different users from around the world can take these courses and learn different skills. As you can see, they have just about anything that you want to learn or want to teach. So it is a really good opportunity and there's actually a few different ways that you could potentially make money. Now, one way, and I'll just use this as an example that I went through, is you can teach a skill set like Amazon Web Services or AWS. So what I did to become certified in Amazon Web Services is I first found this YouTube channel called A Cloud Guru and I just kind of learned about Amazon Web Services and then when I wanted to go take the test, I came over to Udemy and they actually have a link over to Udemy in their in their videos and I typed in something like AWS or I typed in a cloud guru just like this and you can see they're getting hundreds if not hundreds of thousands of people that are signing up for their courses and you could do exactly what they do or you could actually create content about like the best courses to learn AWS or Amazon Web Services or really anything and you could link them over to any course over on Udemy. So you could do something like uh, if you want to learn affiliate marketing, if you want to learn, you know, um, if you want to learn how to basket weave or you want to learn how to code or whatever, you can link them over and you can earn a commission. So I think this is a pretty common way. Now, you could either create a course yourself and host it over on Udemy and then be an affiliate for your own course, or you could simply just recommend another course. I think this is the most common way. But what I would do is I would try and find courses that have low competition. For example, I just typed in their uh, their domain name and I found that they actually, YouTube automation has low competition. So you could create a YouTube channel about YouTube automation. It's also called YouTube Cash Cow. As you can see here, this is a pretty hot topic right now over on YouTube where you just teach people how to create YouTube channels without showing your face. You actually hire people to do it for you. And then, you know, you just create a, a you create a mini series. So if you did like YouTube automation at the space bar, you can see that there are all sorts of videos that people are creating YouTube automation rain sounds, for example. And then you say something like, Hey, if you want to learn how to uh, do this step by step without you actually creating the videos, click the link here. The link will take them over to Udemy. So that's just one way. But one of the coolest things is you can see they're talking about trading. Um, I also like, NFTs. I like to try and jump on things that are new and trending. If we look over here, we can do something like NFT, hit enter just like that. Um, and then we could also just come over to YouTube and say like best courses for, and you can see people are, are asking all sorts of questions like best courses for cybersecurity. You create a video about the 10 best courses or certifications for cybersecurity. For example, uh, one of the courses that you need for um, a technical is like A plus certification. So you could create content about the A plus certification. We'll do like A plus certification just like this. And you can see that there are tons of videos out here and then you just recommend the best A plus certification. Now, I, I know that I keep talking about technical, but CompTI is the name of the, the course, uh, the certification, but you can do this with anything. You just go out and find like uh, best courses for, or even just spend time trying to figure out the popular topics in education, what like degrees people are wanting to learn. And you can actually create content over on YouTube or start a blog and then recommend a course or two over on Udemy. So one thing, let's see, let's go back over here. We can do this. Now people are looking up individual names, which I thought was interesting over on Udemy, uh, the Udemy domain name, but you can see here, like you could do this for literally everything. Um, you can do like best business courses or people that want to start a small business. So we can do best business, uh, best business, let me spell this word right, best business courses for entrepreneurs. And then you put together a list of the five or six best courses and then link them over to Udemy. And once again, you could create your own course if you wanted to, but you can just kind of link them over. But I think this is a really, a pretty easy way. You can say best courses like I showed you, uh, best courses for um, and then one thing that you could do too is go out and find the technical degrees and certifications. So if we go over here, um, let's do, I'm going to take a look at keywords, explore, let's type in certifications, just like this certifications, make sure it's spelled correctly. There we go. So we're going to copy this. We're going to come back over to here, 
hit enter. And what we're looking for is we want a list of certifications, CPR certification. Um, right now there's 8 million monthly searches. If we change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less, hit enter. And you're going to see that there is some traction here. Um, 952,000 searches per month, 19,000 keywords. But if you look, um, we could, in theory, just go through and figure out which ones are have a low keyword difficulty, like Terraform certification. Now, this is technical. Uh, copy this. See if there are courses being uh, created for Terraform, which there are. Uh, we can click on this, and you can create content here and potentially rank. Now, what you should do if you're going to go into Terraform is you want to click on Terraform here and then take a look at all of the matching terms. And then this is where you can start creating content at Terraform. So if we come back over here and we do like Terraform certification, you can see people are looking up for preparation exam training guide. Let's do preparation. And if we look here, you can see there, these are getting hundreds of thousands of views. And then you can just say, hey, look, if you want a complete course, click the link. It'll take you over to Udemy and you can link to the best Terraform certifications. But you can do this with just about any. You can see there's not a lot of oh, we're at Terraform here. So we just click back here. One, two. Uh, let's see. But you can see that there are tons of certifications and you just copy one that you might be interested in and check and make sure that there is a course over on Udemy that matches it. Um, another thing that you could do is you could teach people like Spanish, for example. And I think I've talked about this a few times. So we're gonna open this up. Um, so we're gonna do like how to say, hit enter just like this. And you're gonna see that people are asking uh, all sorts of questions about Spanish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the keyword difficulty to 10 or less once again. And people are asking how to say blank in Spanish or Chinese or Russian or whatever it may be, but we could create content here and then link them over to a course over in Udemy. So we could say Spanish just like this. And you can see there are tons of courses and you can see there's 20,000, uh, 4.7 star reviews, but this is another cool way. So you could teach people how to say a word in Spanish. For example, we could say like how to say hi in Korean. We'll try Korean. Um, how to say hi in Korean, 35,000 subscribers, 13,000 views, 1.19 million subscribers, 960,000 views. You can see there's tons of opportunity here. Um, let's find a keyword that's not too difficult. So how to say this in Spanish. I'm going to paste it in just like that. And you can see um, 10,000 views, 11,000 views. Look at this one, 873 views, only 757 subscribers. And these videos aren't terribly long. This is a 33 second video, a minute and a half video. And then you put a link over to a Spanish course, just like you see here, and you could potentially make money. But there's a, lot, a few different ways. So we'll just type in uh, Korean language like this. If you don't want to use Spanish because you feel like Spanish is too competitive, you can see that there's opportunity and we could even just verify that this is an opportunity over here as well. So let's do include Korean as a word, but you could use Russian and French and so on. So just a little bit of an insight as to what I'm doing in this in this niche. So I'm actually doing how to say blank in Spanish and I've hired someone over on Fiverr to actually say the word in Spanish. So for example, if I say how to say hi in Spanish, um, I'm hiring someone over that knows Spanish and is fluent in Spanish to actually say hi. And then I will, um, I, I just kind of do the rest. So um, I'm actually doing this and, and you can do this too. But if you look here, how to say no in Korean, 550 keywords, 49,000 uh, monthly searches, and this is an opportunity for you to make money. But if you don't want to do Korean, you can do Russian or whatever it is. So there are a few different ways to do it. Um, you can find the best courses over on Udemy and just simply promote them and talk about the best courses on Udemy because that's another way you could make money. If we do like uh, best courses on Udemy, hit enter just like this. And once again, boom, you have the opportunity to potentially make money. One cool thing that I just saw, we do best courses on lots of lots of opportunity out here best courses on or best courses uh for i think i've done a little bit uh, but you can see here lots of opportunity so now that we have the different ways that you can make money on udemy let's take a look at how much money you could potentially make promoting this company so if we look here udemy is a part of the impact radius affiliate network an affiliate network is the middleman between the affiliate marketer and the affiliate program 
with an affiliate network, you are responsible or they are responsible for providing payouts, affiliate links, and any other marketing material. You can see here that Udemy.com pays a 15% commission and the, the cookie window or referral window is seven days. So you get 15%. Most of the courses sell for $9.99. Uh, so you get paid 15% of $9.99. So you're looking at probably, uh, you're probably looking at close to a dollar per sale for each program or course that you recommend. If this video helped you out, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified when we upload a brand new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.